welcome back to the channel and um, today I'm going to be making um, a lemon drizzle cake. I haven't made this for years but um, I've got some, I've put some reduced lemons so um, I decided to cook. Um, firstly if you do hear noise that um, Ellie isn't very well, she's got a really bad water infection I think. So hopefully we can get her in the doctor's on Monday, that is tomorrow, I'm filming this on Sunday. So if you're new, my name's Katie, um, and we're a family of five from um, North Wales and Gorsley. So I'm going to make this, and this is going to be for pudding after our um, look at our evening meal, what will be pulled up tonight. Um, so I'm using a mixer, you can use whatever you want. So firstly, I've just quickly greased. Um, I thought I got a loaf tin, but I haven't, so I've so I've done this one. So I've greased this. So you can do it by hand or whatever. Um, so if you hear noise now, I've got the oven, the oven just to warm up and get to temperature. So firstly, you need I weighed everything out into these because I just thought these would be just quicker to show you. So this. Recipe ours is off the BBC Good Food Show food thing online. I've used it all the time. So you need you can see 200 okay, 225 grams of butter. So you bung that in. Not with the plastic. And then you need um show you 225 grams of sugar, you can use caster sugar, whatever white sugar you want. So, you hear a noise now, it's because I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put my mixer on, so you can do it with that. But, this mixer is very plain up. Really well. So you mix it up. So you mix it up to a light fluffy. This recipe is like a pet, like a Victoria's Sponge recipe with the zest inside. Put four eggs, um, not together, just put them in, in like 
mix it and I'll just show you. So your eggs, the bowl. So you just mix it. Yeah. I don't know if you can put it in um, all together, but um, this is what I do. So, so this. I'm doing this on Sunday, so everybody having a good, had a good week. I can't believe it's Monday again tomorrow. It's just one of them things. So. Just because that quick. <laughs> I didn't forget to tell you, if you put your, your temperature, I put mine on 160, that's fan assisted. Um, I don't know. If you look up on the good food, it should tell me. <laughs> Like, like you know when you have a Sunday lunch and 
ego. Mine would have to be as a couple. If I go to my mum's for a now, or she comes here, I know my mum is the best for my trifle. Then she does a really nice, um, it's like a pear. It's called pear, it's like a, put pears at the bottom with a sponge, like a pear of chocolate with custard. My mum does the best custard ever. Is it just me? Is it just like I'm bored? So, okay. Pastry, but I could always eat my nan's apple pie and the best rice pudding. But if I like a cookie, I feel going out. I like a cheesecake, a really nice cheesecake. It's like my um, Simon, my husband, if you know, it's um, who I'm talking about. He likes lemon meringue. Likes lemon. He likes anything lemon. Um, anything custard. So apple pie. He loves the crumb. Oh yeah. He loves my rhubarb or an apple crumble he likes. Because I made one when we first got together. And he loves it. I haven't really done this before, but I'm Well, I want to ask you, um, I'm doing like a bit of everything on my channel, um, so I was wondering what kind, because I love baking, and I love cooking, I love shopping, and then I love my family. So, do you want? Is there any other videos you'd like us to film? Um, so, lemon you want just gonna there. so what you need to do now is just I'm just gonna mix just mix it through so it's all even if that makes sense I'm just gonna because I know a bit more light on it. I know so well. Someone loves lemon. like cooking his mommy cooks homemade um she's really good 
um, for our food and cooking. We cook a lot of stuff from scratch and do shopping over as well. So that's done now. So you won't really see, but you will have what lemon thing. So I'm going to do now. You can. It does recommend. Um, a line, um, a lighting, but I don't know where mine. So I'm just, I'm just using this instead. So I'm just lying one of these big greasy things. So I'm just gonna bung it in like that. My smell of lemons in this. I do love baking. It's like one of my. Um, I suffer a lot with anxiety. Really do. Had for years. Um, and it's one of my. Um, go to. Um, Is there any people out there what what relaxes you if you suffer with anxiety or your stress or what? So but the question is the question is how everybody on the YouTube and why won't you lick the bowl? I do, but I'm not going to do it on this little bit, so the kids might have that as well. You have to lick the bowl, some people just don't. That's the best bit about baking, so... Just put that on this. It would be better in a tin, but we'll do what we do. So... It's nice. So that goes into the oven. Um, on 160, I'll break it for 45 to 50 minutes, and then we'll do, I'll show you what the topping will be. So I'll come back in a bit when it's all cooked and show you what it looks like with the topping done as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Done by then. So that's what it looks like when it's halfway. Um, I've just took the cake out so I'll just show you what it looks like. So it got better in a long try, I think. Um, and what you do before you let, let it cool, what you have to do is this. So I've got 80 grams of caster sugar. Um, you can use any like white sugar and then in here this is quite handy so I'm with this is I have basically um, juiced one and a half juices to make it so what I'm going to do is just going to pour this in and I don't want a bit of time and you just to give it a And you just stir it until it goes into like a syrup. I might put too much juice in. So, that should be okay. Then you can either use um, um, a skewer, a skewer or you can use a fork. And basically, what you do is hot. Get your cake, just leave it in the tin itself. So you get your cake and you just, you just like poke it. 
something like that all the way. Depends how much you want. And then, sorry about that. And then, put in here. That's with the sugar. There. Sorry, I think I've just put a bit too much juice here. I think I did too much. You want a little bit? Turn it into like a syrup. Good. You can have it running by tasting toast. It. it should look a bit like that. And then you just pour it onto it. The way you've put your rolls or and what happens. Is the lemon will get into the holes. And it can like that's why it gets like the white crust of a lemon drizzle. That's what I was told, so so you can just if I just show you a little bit. Like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it to cool. And then um, I'm going to end the video and what I'll do is I'll just put a picture in what it looks like um, when it's all cool. Because it will take about an hour to literally cool. So that is my recipe on a lemon um, drizzle cake. We're going to have that later with some custard on my dear. Because lemon loves it with the uh, cake and custard. So I um, would love, love you, um, if you do want to see more baking recipes, because um, I do love doing baking recipes or cooking recipes, then that is ideal. If you like the video, if you give it a good thumbs up, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, that will be absolutely lovely. It is totally free. And I will love you and leave you, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.